This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. So Charlie Kirk may be a, a talentless freak who is wholly unremarkable in every way, but he is plugged in to Trump world. He's palling around with Don Jr. all the time. He had a, a direct line to Donald Trump during the administration. And he carries some level, some modicum of, of influence within MAGA world. And he said some things that are alarming for anybody of any influence uh, in, in, the, in the, the realm of politics to say. Involving, with, if the Republicans ever take back power again, we will never let you have it back. Let me, let me, let me get the quote exactly right. Um, enjoy being completely politically irrelevant, irrelevant because once you get displaced from power, we're not going to give it back. This is fascistic. This is autocratic. This is authoritarian. This is anti-democratic. But they don't care. The, the game is, is out there now. There's no more dog whistles or whispers. The plan is out. I mean, I just, I just did a video about the, the 1776 nonsense and the, the we the people part of this, uh, Proud Boys plan, this seditious conspiracy documented. And Charlie Kirk is, is part and parcel with this. This is the Republican Party's pattern and practice. I'm going to play this clip where he's railing about pride flags and this is not the country I grew up in before going into his screed about not giving political power back once they have it. Watch this. And guess what? It's not just Hispanics. Do you know who voted for Republican for a Republican for the first time in his life yesterday? Elon Musk. Elon Musk voted for Myra Flores. In fact, Elon Musk tweeted this morning that was the first Republican he ever voted for. And then he said a red wave is coming in November. Good job, woke Democrats. You have not just you're not just turning your entire political base, Hispanics, to become Republicans. You've now successfully turned the world's richest man into someone who is outwardly saying he's cheering for and advocating a red wave coming into November. A once-in-a-generation political realignment. That's what we're seeing coming into November. What are Democrats doing? Well, they got the January 6th committee. They're, they want to send another billion dollars to Ukraine. That's what they came out today. Nothing on the border, nothing on inflation. And then the non-stop campaign, the relentless campaign that I know is exhausting you and is certainly ticking me off. You cannot turn around without more pride flags than American flags. Another school textbook or drag queen whatever and someone says time out you can have whatever belief you have you gotta back off a little bit this is not the country i grew up in stop wanting attention all the time and hispanics agree what are democrats thinking right now i don't think they're doing much thinking just blame republicans blame conspiracy theories and enjoy being completely politically irrelevant because once you get displaced from power we're not going to give it back Republicans controlling, Republicans winning over Hispanics, will be the nail in the coffin. And we're not going to give that power back. Let us not forget, let us not forget that America, uh, Mexico is not sending us their best and their brightest. They're not sending their best. They're sending rapists. The Republican Party has a great track record with Hispanics in this country. But let, let, let's listen to some of his anti-gay bigotry. Time out. You can have whatever belief you want. The Republican Party right now is in a concerted effort underway to delegitimize the very existence of gay and trans people in America. It's not a belief. And then whines about there are more pride flags than American flags. Shut up. Like you're some kind of a patriot. You pumpkin-headed freak. Um, you got to back off a little bit. You can believe whatever you want, but just back off with those beliefs, even if it is just a belief. It's not. Stop wanting attention all the time, says a man with a f***ing microphone in front of his face. <laughs> and then he signals anti-democratic views. 
in the switch. Enjoy being completely politically irrelevant because once you get displaced from power, we're not going to give it back, further stating Republicans controlling will be the nail in the coffin. We're not going to give that power back. No regard for we, the people. No regard for democracy. No regard for the right of you and me to vote for the person of our choice. And that is because there is a plan in place that's being implemented as we speak all across the country in these pivotal swing states like Arizona, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania with this gubernatorial candidate, Mastriano to try to subvert our democracy, so our democracy, to, to subvert the will of the people, to subvert the very votes they whine about the lie that, that Donald Trump won the election. This isn't about the better idea winning. This is about political power at any cost. Charlie Kirk. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if you'd follow me on social media. We can mix it up there. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, at Dollamore on uh, TikTok, and at Dollamore on Instagram. All those. Great place to, to connect. And if you appreciate what I do, if you appreciate what I do, if I bring you some value on a day-to-day -day basis, please consider supporting my work right here on YouTube. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, just pennies a day, or completely separate from that, but it still supports my work, is patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support and produce and take part in the, the movement that I'm hoping to create here. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.